What's up, Space Cadets? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Imperial Galactic Survival Let's Play. Last video, we talked about the pros and cons of steel versus concrete, and uh, we also messed around with the texture color tool a bit. Today, we are going to be going to space for rare materials. If you enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. And you guys have given me really, really good tips and pointers in the comments i'm gonna go over a couple of them really quickly uh actually let's start flying to space before we even start and then i want to come back here for a sec no i want to come back here for a sec and i want to show you exactly before we go to space how much warp fuel we have we have 63 in there and then another 42 out here honestly that's not that much but i think we'll be okay all right so let's let's get going to space i'm gonna talk about the tips you guys gave me which were just just grade a kick-ass tips uh, let me see what we got here. Um, thrusters on. All right, let's do this. Let's go to space. All right, so uh, one of the tips you guys gave me, if you ever find yourself uh, to the alien outpost, know that you can find a, a pentaxid asteroid. Um, you know, like the blue crystals for warp. Uh, I think you should go there for fun so yeah that's a good idea i will do that eventually might, might, not, might not get to it this video but we will i will keep that in mind uh also zacosium ore is found on only on masperun's moon uh and eristrium is found on atis a on hot planets like a atis and itis i'm not even sure how to say those names but whatever um i know where to get them so we're going to come to space really quick, and uh, let's just go ahead and set up a warp. So we're right here. Can we warp directly to here? Now, I know you have to go this way, but it's saying it takes 50, it's 57 AU away. I'm pretty sure I can't warp there, though. Let's just double check. You never know. They, no, I don't even see the arrows. Yeah, I don't even see the arrows. Okay. Well, let's go to skill and for... Oh, I didn't lock the target. That uh, You can't lock the target. Yeah, okay, you have to go this way. Should I go this way? Um, that's 24. No, I'm not quite sure how the war, the wormhole thing works yet. So we're just going to go this way. Lock, lock it into place. All right. I don't see the arrow. No, really. Where's the arrow? Did it lock? Let me see if it locked. Hold on. I'm not seeing the arrow people. Usually you see an arrow along the side of your screen. Um, I should be able to go there, right? Yeah. Locked. Lock target. There it is. Now you see it. Okay. Let's go, guys. And what do we need to warp? I think K. There we go. We are now in Skillin. Now, we could stop off at Skillin and pick up some uh, some warp juice. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, look at all the asteroids around Skillin. Have I looked around Skillin yet? I don't know. Look at all the asteroids, man. Maybe there's some uh, maybe there's some goodies uh, goodies on these asteroids. All right, well, you know what? Let's stay focused. Let's not get distracted. And this is where we're going to get some of our rare resources. Uh, there's going to be drones and stuff. Yeah, there we go. There's going to be drones and stuff that are going to be protecting the, uh, the you know... Yeah, there it is. Uh, there's going to be drones and stuff that are going to be protecting the ores we're trying to mine. But I think this thing's got enough firepower to protect itself, and I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to fly by some asteroids, see if there's any goodies on the asteroids. Maybe we should check out some of these asteroids here. It just takes so long to get to. Like, they don't look like they're that far away, but it's space, you know? They, they don't look like they're that far away, but it does take a long time to get to them. And I really don't want to waste fuel, because I don't have a ton of fuel. I'll check out a couple asteroids here, and we'll see. We'll see what we got. Yeah, I would have seen the, I would have seen the ores by now on that one. So there's probably nothing there. What do we got over here? Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, trading station. Those are pointless. All right. Uh, is this... Where am I? Yeah. Well, this is supposed to be where we can get Eristrium. So let's uh, let's go down and double check. It's supposed to be a lava plant. This does not look like a lava planet. Hold on. Um, Eristrium ore can be used mining the drill. Ore deposits can be found only in hot planets. Okay. This is uh, one that... it's a, at this and Cyro B2 raid. I don't know what a Cyro B2 raid is, but we're gonna check out this planet. This is there's supposed to be a rich stream on this planet, so let's go check it out. Yeah, it's a hot planet, it's not lava planets. So I I inserted the lava part <laughs> because you know lava's freaking badass. Alright, what do we got here? 
Probably a lot of gravity on this planet too, I'll bet. Yep, 1.2 gravity. Oh, look at this. This is an interesting looking planet. So the reason I mentioned the gravity is because it's going to eat up more power. And I know this is going to be dark, I apologize. Uh, maybe I should put some lights on this thing. Normally I don't mind it being too dark because I brighten it up in post, but I'm using a new uh, software for rendering and I don't know how to brighten it up. I could probably figure it out, but it's going to take a long time and I really don't have the time. Let's, uh, let's do this. Okay. Wait, no, that's not right. Debug menu. Unknown command. Maybe if you spelt it right. Debug menu. Okay, there we go. And let's make it daytime. There we go. That is strictly for you guys. Um, I can see... Ooh, gold deposit. I can see pretty much just fine, but I know it's a problem. You know, I don't want to make dark videos. Oh, look at that stuff down there. Oh, oh God, we're getting shot at. Oh, don't hit me. Don't shoot me. Stop shooting me. Jerks. All right, this is... Yep. There we go. Sathium and Aristrium. Okay. Gold. More gold. I don't need gold. Discovered a new point, uh, POI. Large outpost. Okay. Well, we're going to want to avoid those outposts, obviously. So, let's see if we can find some Revistrium here. Normally, I would cut the video here, but this is, you know... It's pretty crazy stuff here. I could get shot at. This, uh, this ship could get damaged pretty quickly. The only thing I hate about the uh, the way the ships are with, with being damaged and repaired in this game is, like, if stuff gets blown out and you didn't build the ship, uh, you're not going to remember where things go. And even if you did build the ship, you might not remember where things go. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for... Uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, there we go. I know a lot of people have been asking for ship ghost image repair things where it'll basically fill in the parts that are missing. Oh, we got Sathium here too. That's nice. All right, we got a plasma drone. Let's get rid of these drones. Get them. Come on, get them. Now, this isn't going to count. Oh, it does count. That counts towards my uh, destroy alien drones quest. I didn't think it would. That is very interesting. All right. Let's plop down here. Oh, we got some aliens. They're getting shot to crap. I don't really want the aliens getting shot. Let me see what my turrets are doing. Hello, turrets. Uh... So why are they shooting at those aliens? Well, because they're aliens. But usually when predator or prey is not marked, they won't shoot at them. I really don't want them shooting at them. Oh, well. All right, let's turn off thrusters. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, no oxygen. Put on my helmet. I don't know why I took my helmet off, but I did. Let's get out there and clean house. Actually, we don't need to clean house. We're just going to be in our... We're just going to be in the drill sergeant. The drill sergeant! Okay. Alright, and the Aristrium is right here. Beautiful. This is working out nicely. I wish they weren't shooting at those things. I guess they're shooting because they're aliens. I just... I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Man, those stupid turrets wouldn't stop shooting at stuff, so I actually I had to turn them off of uh, shooting at aliens. So, I'm not sure if I should have done that or not, but whatevs, man. They were freaking annoying. They just wouldn't shut the hell up. Alright, so let's get to drilling. We are going to drill out some Aristrium here as much as we need. And we are also going to get some Sathium, since it's right there. And then we will head towards Masperon's moon and get some Zacosium. How's that sound, people? How's that grab you? Now, I'm worried that those turrets might not shoot at uh, drones now, so I will keep an eye on them. And, you know, I'll keep an eye on the, uh, on the mini-map and see, or the, what 
mini, whatever you, I guess it's a mini map. I'll keep an eye on the mini map and make sure that if any drones come in the area, they do get shot at. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm gonna need. Like, I've never needed that much of it, but since I'm here, I might as well get it, right? All right, it's 71%. How much do we have? I bet you we have like a stack already. Almost. Let's get a little bit more. And then uh, we'll go get some, uh, we'll go get some Sathium. All right, guys, I just got off of that, I uh, can't call it a lava planet. I just got off of that really, really hot planet, and I still don't know how to say it. Aethys. Aethys. Not really sure. Anyway, let's go to Masperon and check out the moon. And there we go. Masperon moon. Let's do it. All right. We might not have enough fuel to get back, though. Uh, enough jump fuel. So I'm not really sure, you know, what I want to do here, but... All right, which one is the moon? That's got to be the moon, right? Excuse me. Man, the moon looks... The moon looks uh, bigger than the than the planet. Alright, well, let's go check out the moon. Uh, let me really quickly show you what I've got left of as far as fuel goes for warping. Um, we will need... We will need... 57... 56... 58... Of these things to get back and we do not have anywhere near that enough let's take a look yeah we do not have anywhere near let's see how much we have 36 okay so we got 36 so that's 23 oh god that won't get us back to skilling that's a bummer uh that means we're gonna have to find some blue some blue uh blue crystal somewhere why isn't this thing closing close damn it yeah it means we're gonna have to find some blue crystal somewhere uh, either here or at Aethys. Um, so, I'm sure we'll be able to find some. They put, they put those blue crystals everywhere because they basically don't want you to ever get stranded somewhere. At least that's what I assume. But, I don't know for sure. It's just kind of like what, what I feel. I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna explore some of these asteroids, but I wanna do it off camera because it takes a long time to get anywhere in space. So, yeah, it's kind of boring just like waiting for the asteroid to get close. So it looks like there's like four of them right here within range. And it doesn't look like there's anything on any of them. Whoa, these are like crashing into the planet or something. Oh boy. Oh, I wonder if they're actually crashing into the planet. They look like they are, don't they? Look at that. Oh, nope, they're gone. Alright. What on God's green earth is that? Oh, that's just water. Okay, it looked like a really big structure over there. All right, so we are looking for Zycosium. Very cool. Let's see if we can find some Zycosium. We're going to stay away from all the bases. We do not want to be messing around in these bases. We will eventually come here and attack bases. But for now, I'm trying to stay away from them. Also, I, I got attacked by some drones on that last planet. And... I had my I had my turrets not set not to shoot aliens and they weren't shooting the drones. But I was having other problems with my ship as well. So I'm not sure. Let's take off Let's take off shooting at aliens and see if they will shoot at the drones on this planet. Because they weren't shooting at the drones on that last planet, but there was other things that weren't working right with this uh, with this ship until I got into space. So there was some there's some issues there that might have nothing to do with uh, the way I had my turrets set. So, we're going to see what we got here. We're going to see what we got. We still need to get a minigun, cannon, and space drone. And then we'll get our epic minigun. That'd be cool. We should probably, like, actively try and get that stuff. Yeah, what else? Alright, I'm not seeing anything on this planet yet. Alright. I keep thinking I'm going through that green... That green transition period, you know? Um, but I'm not. It's just the whole planet's green. Okay, so we got a Prometheum deposit over here. That's interesting. I guess. This is a really good looking ship. I like it. Alright, I'm not seeing anything else here. Nothing else. Nighttime, we're gonna have to do something about that. There we go. Again, I just, I like, I don't like to have the the darkness because I think it makes for a bad video. Um, maybe I'll put some lights on my ship or something. I, I don't like avoiding the darkness though. It's kind of sucks. 
maybe I'll put some lights on the ship or something. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll spend some time this weekend and try and figure out how to brighten up the videos so I can not have them super dark. They're not going to be dark anyway. I'm going to brighten them up. So what's the difference? Because a dark video is a horrible, horrible thing. I thought there's supposed to be drones around here. I don't see any. I don't like the idea of digging this out. Alright. Damn, look at that Zycosium. 10,000. Wow. Alright, I don't like the idea of digging this uh, Zycosium out because if it, if drones do come by and these miniguns are not going to attack because they're not set to alien, um, it's going to be a real bad day for me. So I am going to leave them set to alien just for this. I'll probably test them at some point. And let's turn off our thrusters. And let's get to mining out some some Zycosium people, or Eristrium, or whatever the hell we're doing here. Did I keep saying... No, this is Zycosium. That's right, the green one. Come on, Drill Sergeant, let's do this. Did we empty this out? No, well, we don't really need to, who cares. Okay. Back this up. By the way, these hover vessels are really, really buggy. <laughs> they just like... I don't know. I don't really think they're that good. Um, they're good. Like, I think that the developers are like, let's get stuff working and we'll we'll fix them later. That's the way the development works on these early access games, so it's fine. But they're kind of messed up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's that Cosium. Oh, we got a drone coming in. Let's get, let's get by our thing. Alright, so that thing got blasted. And there's no, like, wildlife on the ground. So, we can leave them set up the way they are. It'll be fine. Okay. So, I don't like Masperon. I don't like the looks of it. But I think I think the moon looks a lot better than Masperon itself. Right? I mean, I guess it depends on what you like, purple or green. But I feel like this looks a lot better than the actual planet. And um, I've, I've decided that I think from now on when I restart, I'm just going to start an Akua every single time. Because I don't think any of the other planets look that good, for, like, from a living standpoint. Like, I don't want to live on any of these planets. They look like crap, you know? Like, I want to live somewhere that looks nice. So, and Akua is definitely the... I, honestly, I think Akua is the only really good-looking planet. I mean, these planets do look good in a sense that they're alien, and I think that's a good thing. But at the same time, it's not somewhere I want to live, you know? They just... They just look bad. They look bad. So. I will probably start an Akua from now on. For all future Let's Plays. Maybe. Maybe Omicron. We'll see. Omicron's not that bad, I guess. It's like a big desert, though. There's not much there. I mean, you know, these look good. Like, these look good from, you know, you're on an alien planet and it looks alien. And I think they did a good job with them. But, again, it's not. It's just not somewhere I want to live. Akua is so nice with the, with all the uh, trees and stuff. I really like Akua. Maybe I'll live in space next time. I don't know. I don't like the idea of living in space because it's going to be harder to get the, uh... It's going to be harder to get materials. I think that they should make asteroids full of materials so you can actually live in space and not feel like you're missing out. Man, this stuff's getting chewed up. Damn, we probably go over a stack by now. Oh my god, almost two stacks. Well, you know what, guys? That's enough. We don't need any more of this for now. Now we just gotta get out of here. I was just worried. I saw a drone and I didn't hear my things firing. Come on. Come on, get up there. Get up there. There we go. Alright. Can I... Where's my boost? Boost, fool. There you go. All right, guys, we have all of the awesome materials, all the awesome rare materials we're going to need for forever, you know, for a really long time. Let's put this stuff in here. And Oh, we got to get out of there first. I forgot to get it out of the, the container in here. All right, cargo box. There we go. We are sitting pretty now, people. I'm going to make freaking drones like crazy. I think we're going to start taking out bases. Maybe not next video, but coming up. It's coming. Alright, let's do that. And we're good there. We're locked in. Let's 
Let's, um... Oh, that's right. We need, uh, blue... Blue crystals. Crap. Blue crystals! So, yeah, we don't have enough blue crystals to get home. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loot some here. I've got a drone up here. I don't know if he's gonna cause any issues. I, I can't tell if he's on this side of the... No, he's on the other side of the mountain. He's going pretty fast. I don't know if he's gonna be a problem. I don't like this place, man. It, this place makes a lot of noises with stuff not even there. And it's pretty, it's pretty, um, ugh, creepy, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So let's see if we can find some more of these blue crystals. That was only one. I mean, they do grow back. I don't want to spend all my time on this planet, though. Uh, I'm not seeing any more. Uh, by the way, this isn't the moon. This is actually uh, Masbron itself. And there is indeed uh, blue crystals here, obviously. We just got to find them. So that's good. That's good. We gotta find. That's good. We gotta find them. We need. A, we need. Uh, what? Fifty-eight to get home, right? I know. I know what we said. Let's see. Fifty-eight to get home. Yep. Fifty-eight to get home. Okay. Well, not. We don't even need that many. Honestly, we only need forty-four or forty-five to get the skill, and I know skill is loaded with blue crystal. So there's that. All right, so let me look around here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go home. Uh, next video, we are going to set up some more auto mining devices. We can only set up another six. I'll probably put maybe one or two on um, on uh, Prometheum. And then put the other ones on iron, probably. I really hate living on that damn planet. Because uh, the, reason, the reason that planet has such small... Uh, amounts of resources in all its in all its you know nodes. Um, Lith Pizza has actually told me that it's the starter planet for small amount of resources. So living on living on um, on Mingus was a terrible terrible idea. So what are you gonna do? I'm committed now. So whatever. But I'll probably I'll be restarting for Alpha Six anyway. But I don't know when that's gonna be. Probably no time. S Man, I keep hearing I keep thinking I hear stuff. Oh my god, look at this. That don't that doesn't look right. What is that going up to? I think that's a graphical um thing. Graphic graphics mistake. Pretty sure. Oh well. What else? Oh my god, this is this is terrible. Oh, I don't like this guys. This is kind of scary. Are there creatures underwater yet? I don't think so. Oh, here's some crystals. So what we can do, guys, is... Yeah, there we go. What we can do, guys, is when we're... Uh... Can we grab this? Oh, you can't grab it with this anymore. Okay, never mind. We used to use our drones to grab this stuff, but we can't anymore. We probably have enough by now. We probably have enough by now. Now these are big ones, so you get two per. So that's nice. How many? How much we got? Oops, not that. How much do we have? We have twelve. That's probably enough. We probably have enough to get the skill in. Skill is where we want to go. Last time I was at skill in, that's where you want to go for these things. Now, I did have someone in the comments tell me that this alien outpost has big asteroids with them, but, yeah, I'll, ch I'll check it out some other time. I'm not saying you're a liar. I'm just saying that, like, I don't take stuff in the YouTube comments at face value usually. Well, sometimes I do. I do. I just don't want to get stuck there. So, we'll definitely go there. I'm sure you're right. I'd rather just go there with enough, with enough Pentax to get me home in case there's nothing there. Oh, timer. Shut your freaking trap. Alright. We, we almost definitely have enough now. Alright, well, I guess we'll call this one here. I'm I might cut out some boring parts. I usually uh, make my videos a little bit longer than is necessary, so that way if I want to cut any boring parts, I can. And I'll cut them out anyway. So if this video ends up being under 25 minutes, I apologize. But what I cut out was, was boring nonsense anyway, so... Yeah, so we're going to call this one here, guys. That is going to be it for this episode. I will see you next time. Till then, take it easy.